Hello everyone, my name is Anton. Today I want to show off another third party plugin for Obsidian, the Mind Map plugin. So this plugin is used to dim, um, kind of map out the heading structure of a document. We, we all pretty much are used to the graph view within uh, um, Obsidian where it maps out the documents and the links between each of the documents within your within your vault but this mind mapping tool again it works specifically for your document itself so if we get into the document let's go ahead and create one the plugins enabled but I'll kind of show how you uh, set that up uh, later in the video if we come into the document the the mind mapping structure is as I say it maps out the heading structure. So if we go ahead and start typing out a heading structure here, maybe I'll do chapter one here, chapter two, and then maybe break down each of these chapter into say sub chapters. Do one dot one. And let me copy paste just to make it a little quicker here. Add in there, we copy these here, down here, and we'll do two, three, three, one, A, and do a similar structure here for the first chapter that we have up here as well. Now, if we go ahead and enable the mind map preview, I have that map to a hotkey here. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And we can see that the preview for the mind map comes up for this untitled one document. Now, the mind map is typical mind map that shows all the different branches um, of the heading structure here and how they're kind of linked in a hierarchy with each other. You can still click on each of the nodes here and it will collapse the node. We can see here as well. And it does also give default colors to each of the different uh, links and nodes here. We can you can add text into your into your document and that text does not show up here. And you can also say do a, a link, a backlink as well, and that backlink will show up. And if you click on the backlink, you have to have the actual file created. So that's the, I guess, one of the only drawbacks here of the mind map. It does not create the file from the mind map. So if we, let's go ahead and click on it here and create it. We'll go back. And then if you click on it, it will go to the actual document itself. Now let's go back here. Click into the document. We have the mind map. Let's map in. Let me copy and paste maybe a, another structure that's a little bit more complex. And we can see how it updates everything. As long as you're selected, you have to be selecting the document so it'll preview and update any changes that you, you've made to the document. Now, this is really nice if you want to see, again, a visual view of the hierarchy of your document. Say maybe you're writing a book or some really long uh, report. This can at least give you some kind of visual structure of that particular document. If we want to set this up, it's just like any other third party plugin. Go into settings, third party plugin, browse, and go ahead and search to map, mind map here, and get more information about the actual plugin. And in order to kind of get the preview working here, we can set up the hotkey and search for mind mind map comes up here and then you set up your hotkey this is uh, blank by default okay so that is the mind map third-party plugin for obsidian 
My name is Anton. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a good day.